What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another video. Today we're going to be trying something new, it's something I ran last week over on my partner channel JSGC Football where I've been doing predictions based on the Championship and also on the Premier League as well. So I thought, you know what, Premier League, we're speaking a lot about other Premier League teams, the implications it can have on Manchester City, why not throw it onto the main channel. So I'm going to be doing my Premier League predictions on here for the first time ever, bit of trial and error, we'll see how it goes. So if you are enjoying the content please do subscribe i would appreciate if you do leave a thumbs up so i know that you are enjoying uh, this new content also don't forget as well to uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below including your predictions for this weekend's games uh, do as well go and check out my social media links they're in the description if you want to go and check out my twitter instagram and tiktok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship or any videos or any general business inquiries so we're going to crack on with this video we're going to speak first about last week's predictions and jsgc didn't have a very good time at all. Got no correct scores. I got two correct results and eight wrong from me, which is embarrassing. I think I'm going to score myself zero out of ten for that effort, JSGC. Got to do better. I had City to beat Liverpool. It finished one all. I had West Ham to beat Burnley 3-1. That finished 2-1 uh, to West Ham. I had uh, Crystal Palace to beat Luton away from home. It finished 2-1 to, uh, to Luton Town. I had Chelsea to beat Newcastle. Newcastle, of course, won that game 4-1. I had Nottingham Forest and Brighton to draw 2-2. Very close with that. Finished 3-2 to Brighton. And I had Bournemouth uh, and Sheffield United the match at Bramall Lane to draw and it finished 3-1 to AFC Bournemouth in the late kickoff last Saturday. I had uh, Arsenal to win 2-1. It finished 1-0 instead. On the Sunday, I had uh, Spurs to beat Aston Villa 2-0. It finished 2-1. I had Everton to beat Manchester United. United, of course, ended up winning that game 3-0. And then on Monday Night Football, I had Fulham Wolves as a 0-0, a boring game. And it finished 3-2 in what was a pretty controversial and pretty exciting game, actually, uh, with Fulham coming out. 3-2 winners on that uh, in that game. So JSGC, not my best performance last week, so hoping this week will be much better. So this week's games, you've got no early kickoffs here in the UK for the Premier League. So the first matches taking place will be the matches in the blackout, the 3 p.m. games. So you've got Arsenal taking on Wolves. I think Arsenal are going to win that game. I think it's going to finish 3-0 to uh, Arsenal. Wolves have got a couple of players suspended. I see Arsenal going from strength to strength. I don't see Arsenal struggling in this game. I don't see how Arsenal don't pick up the three points here, in particular with this being at the Emirates Stadium as well. I think for uh, the Molyneux, I think it might be a little bit different, but it's not at Molyneux. It's at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal win this game 3-0. Now, Brentford, they're taking on Luton Town at home. And I think Brentford are going to win this game. I think it's going to finish 2-0 to Brentford in a comfortable victory for them uh, as they pick up another three points. And Luton Town uh, doing really well. I think surprised a lot of people in the Premier League so far, making themselves difficult to beat. I don't think it'll be an easy game for Brentford, but I think they'll get them plus three points to their name. Now, moving on, Burnley at Turf Moor. Huge game at the bottom. I'm surprised it's not on TV. Burnley taking on Sheffield United. If there's a loser in that game... They're looking doomed. They're looking in big, big bother. Uh, and so if both teams end up dropping points and that finishes level, which I wouldn't rule out, then that could be uh, detrimental to both sides. So I'm going for a 2-1 victory. I'm picking a winner here. I've got a back Vincent Company, Manchester City legend, Burnley, of course. I'm going for a 2-1 Burnley winner, making that turf more advantage count there uh, in what would be a massive three points for Burnley if Sheffield United can win that. Who knows? Massive three points for them. Uh, and that would be devastating, of course, to the loser of that game. Now, in the evening kickoff, 5.30 p.m. GMT here live on Sky Sports. In the United Kingdom, you've got Nottingham Forest taking on Everton. I think it's going to be both teams to score. And going for a 2-2 draw for that game for Nottingham Forest and Everton. And I will say... I've been impressed with what I've seen so far this season of Nottingham Forest. Going into their second season in the Premier League, I thought it'd be interesting to see how they do. And they seem, to me anyway, be getting better and adapting even more to the Premier League. So I'm over a 2 all draw there. Uh, Everton, they need wins, they need points, uh, they need to try and get over that 10-point uh, point, point uh, deduction that they've got in the Premier League. Can they do it? That is the question, going for a 2-2. And then you've got a Saturday night football game taking place on BT Sports or TNT Sports or a Discovery Plus, whatever you want to call it. Uh, live at 8pm GMT, Newcastle United taking on Manchester United in the Premier League. 
And I'm going for Newcastle United to win this game. Newcastle seem to have found their mojo a little bit. Yeah, the heads will have dropped a little bit from that last-minute equaliser from PSG in Paris midweek in the Champions League. I think they'll want to take their anger out on Manchester United. I think Newcastle, the players, will be well up for it. I think the fans as well will be well up for it. I think Newcastle win that game. 2-1. Now moving on to Sunday's game. Quite a few games due to the Europa League and the Europa Conference League. You've got Bournemouth taking on Aston Villa um, down at uh, Dean Court down on the south coast in Bournemouth. I think Aston Villa win that game. I'm going for a 2-1 victory for Aston Villa. They've uh, been having a really good campaign. They're in some excellent form and I'm uh, backing them to continue that excellent form and putting the pressure on the rest of the top clubs right at the top of the Premier League. Chelsea they'll want to get back to winning ways. They're taking on Brighton and Ove Albion on Sunday. All all these have got 2 p.m. Uh, GMT kickoff time. I'm going for Chelsea to win that game, get back to winning ways 2 1. Don't think it'll be easy. I wouldn't rule out Brighton taking something at Stamford Bridge, if I'm honest. I don't know what to make of Chelsea. Sometimes I watch them and I think, you know what? They look good. They look really, really good. And then other times I watch them and I just think, there's nothing there. They don't look very good. Um, I just can't put my finger on Chelsea right now. They're the type of team like they did against Manchester City, draw 4-4, four, four, score four goals past the treble winners uh, and then go out there in a home match against Brighton, for example, this weekend and lose 2-0. It wouldn't surprise me, but I think Chelsea will win that game. Go for a 2-1 victory. Now, Liverpool, they're taking on Fulham at Anfield. Straight up Liverpool, three points for me. Go for a 4-0 Liverpool win. I was going to put 3-0 and stick safe. You know what? I thought I'd put an extra goal on there and go for a 4-0 Liverpool win. Why not? And then the game taking place on TV here in the UK on Sky Sports at 2pm you've got West Ham taking on Crystal Palace and I think the Hammers going to win that game 2-1 uh, I think they'll secure what will be an important three points for them uh, and I'm going for a West Ham victory there now the final game to speak about taking place at 4.30pm GMT got my team Manchester City taking on Tottenham Hotspur it's got massive implications at the top of the Premier League Spurs they were getting uh, sp spoken about as though they were title uh, contenders they were title threats they were challenging Manchester City they were challenging Arsenal they're going to challenge Liverpool well they've slipped away over the last few weeks they're really picking up a lot of injuries struggling right now it's a little sticky period for them be Manchester City this weekend away from home all of a sudden looking back on track that's how close and how tight it is at the top one bad result for everybody else and one good result for you all of a sudden you're right where you need to be and that's what Spurs need to do they can't afford Manchester City to win this game uh, to me if Spurs want to win the Premier League they need to showcase that at the Etihad they need to beat Manchester City I don't think they're going to do so, but they need to if they want to win the Premier League, in my honest opinion. Otherwise, I think if they lose this weekend, which is what I think is going to happen, I'm going for a 3-1 victory for Manchester City. I think then Spurs, their focus has to be trying to make the top four rather than speaking about the Premier League trophy as of right now because that's the situation that they find themselves in. Whereas with Manchester City, drop points in the last uh, two Premier League games, 4-4 draw away from home against uh, Chelsea and then a one all draw last week and after going ahead uh, against Liverpool as well and uh, drawing that match one all. Manchester City need to get back to winning ways. Arsenal, Liverpool, I'm backing them both to win this weekend, which means Manchester City, they'll be under pressure. They need to beat Tottenham. Not an easy game. The only saving grace, I think, there for Manchester City, it's a match at the Etihad, uh, and it's not at Spurs' stadium instead. As City, not only have we not won at Spurs' stadium, We've also not scored there since uh, they've uh, managed to knock down the old stadium and uh, build the new one uh, where it used to be, or ever so slightly off-centre of where it used to be. Uh, so, yeah, I think City win that game 3-1. I think City have enough about them to, to win that game as well. I think Spurs have got too many injuries to cause City too many problems. And I'd be surprised if City didn't win that game. I think City, you know, we've got a difficult game coming up against Aston Villa uh, in midweek away from home. So fixtures coming in, difficult, thick and fast as well. So there we go. They're my predictions for this weekend's games. Do let me know your predictions in the comments below. Don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up. That's where I do know you're enjoying this uh, new content uh, and I'll know to continue it or not to continue it if you guys don't really take to it. So, uh, yeah, do let me know in the comments below what you think uh, and do leave a thumbs up so I know that you are enjoying the video. 
Also, don't forget as well to subscribe if you are new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links, they're in the description too if you want to go and check out my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to go and hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Finally, if you just head on to my channel on my last video that I put out uh, before this, uh, you'll have seen I've done a new style of content too, looking at a Manchester City construction update with everything going on at the Etihad uh, Stadium and the Etihad campus, uh, including the latest on the construction of the new hotel, fan zone, uh, North Stand expansion, the co-op arena, things that are happening in general in terms of the general construction stuff. Uh, so I've, I've done a little construction update on there, so do go and check that out. The video is live on my channel. That would be much appreciated, and I'll have all the build-up for the regular City content up tomorrow when Manchester City take it on Tottenham Hotspur. I'll have a preview out of my link out to the live watch along and everything for you guys to look forward to. So I will see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.